So for my diesel heater, I decided to use the DeWalt Tough System large toolbox. Reason for this is I have a lot of my camping gear already that utilizes these. There's a nice rack that fits in the garage that these just mount right to. So first thing you'll notice is I've got this pipe across the top. So this is actually for the heat to go out of. This just flexes up into my tent. Uh, you'll notice at the other end, it's just a clamp. What that does is that actually goes on this outlet here. Uh, this is actually just 3D printed, uh, but I'll try to put the link for the uh, Thingiverse if you want it as well. Notice on that side, that's actually for the exhaust. I have an extension for that that runs out with a muffler as well, but that's using a through hull exhaust uh, for a boat. So looking more at the outside, on this side, got another 3D print and that's just an air inlet. So you notice right through there, you'll see the inlet of the heater. And then on this side is where I've got my power coming in. The power is actually all set with a standard SAE plug. So I just used a flush mount SAE. One of the things to remember when you're hooking that up is often the polarities are swapped. So if you're having trouble with it, when you're plugging back and forth with SAE, just switch the polarity and oftentimes that'll fix it. So the next thing is how I get the fuel to it before I show you the inside. So for the diesel heater, you need obviously diesel. Well, my choice was to use a Rotopax for it. I actually already had some other Rotopax accessories. I have the Rockslide Engineering spare tire mount. So I went ahead and have that mounted on to lock down my Rotopax. Now, the thing you'll see it's different is this here. Now, this section from here in is just the standard uh, standpipe. So basically what I did was I just picked up a regular cap for a, a gas can here, drilled a hole in it to fit this through and just fed it down in. There is a screen for the diesel, so I had to put a little hole in it to run the pipe all the way down, but it runs till well, about here. So it won't run until it's all the way empty, but these diesel heaters don't use that much. So then I do have this extension and you notice I've got a lot of pipe. The reason for that for the hose is normally my heater will set up here. Right now I've got my solar panel here that I was testing for the summer. That's gonna come off, it'll sit here and I'll only need from about here to here. However, the extra length doesn't matter when I have this quick release here. So I just push this button and I'm good to go. Nice and easy. And you notice I'm not leaking at all. That can sit around. This actually, oftentimes, I will flip this so this is facing the inside just so it doesn't get caught if I'm out on the trails. So now let's take a look at the inside. So, looking at the inside of the heater, right here, this was the first spot we we're talking about. This is actually where the heat comes out of. I've just got that clamped a small hose and to hit into my diesel heater. Then, what I did was I built a little bracket for underneath just to raise the heater up just a bit off the ground, off the base, so it doesn't I don't have to worry about any heat. I did put some heat shielding in, although this really does not get very hot. The piece it does, however, is my exhaust. And I needed that at an angle enough to be able to get over to here. That's using the standard exhaust pipe it comes with. I just wrapped it with some exhaust wrap. Now on this side, you've got my Diesel comes in here in the back, just drill a little hole in the back, comes through the filter to my pump. You do want to keep the pump at about a 45 degree angle, they say, that'll stop it from as much ticking. And then that just runs down to my inlet for my fuel right there. Then on this side, I've got another air, the other air filter comes in, and I just have that, if I can show it here, I don't know if I can see it right there sitting down underneath so it's on those cables it just needs to be able to pull a little bit of air which it's pulling without any problem so it gives me a lot of air inside also it gives me space uh, in it what i can do is this, this wire here also i have coming out of it goes to a little remote or a little control panel there is a remote to it as well uh, but i just use the control panel that works fine from there i just can close the lid the cable can come out, doesn't impact it at all. Uh, it's a pretty easy cable. And then I can control it. Thing turns on great. And uh, next I will 
give you a shot of it all running. So here it is running. Uh, you might see a little bit coming out of the exhaust here. This isn't where I normally run, I'm just showing it real quickly. You'll notice kind of the, the fuel moving there. Here's a little bit of ticking I mentioned. And it's already pushing hot air right there. Note that this can get a little warm. So as you're looking at different options, I like that it's a little stiffer though. That does make a big difference. So that's my diesel heater setup.